Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Pragmac. Today I want to discuss another laptop, and this one is from Acer. Acer has their lineup of Swift laptops, and they're expanding on that. They are gonna focus on light, portable, and ultra thin, and that is with the brand new Acer Swift X. And with the Acer Swift X, Acer brings two new types of power to the lineup. One being that of the AMD 5000 series mobile processors. The other one is the latest in RTX 30 series graphics from Nvidia. Specifically, the brand new RTX 350 Ti, which is a middle of the line graphics card, which might just be delivering the perfect amount of power for this range of laptop. And Acer bringing AMD and Nvidia together, pairing them for this great 14 inch laptop, that is very interesting to see. AMD more and more is bringing value and power to laptops, and I'm glad to see an increased adoption of their processors. And the Swift X is definitely designed to be on the go to provide ad hoc productivity dependable battery life, and in the end, a little bit of style. All the while, Acer is still looking to keep things budget friendly and provide a good range. And that might be exactly what they've been able to do and what they're bringing to the table with the Swift X. And maybe it's time to break it down. From an aesthetics perspective, the Swift X has a bit of a standout look. It has a two-tone color scheme with the lids being one of three colors that will contrast the all metal design. And that's neither here nor there. It's gonna be a personal taste. Whether you like the two-tone look and something that contrasts that much. Some might prefer just the standard aluminum all-metal design. The laptop is very thin. It is measuring at 17.9 millimeters and weighing a total of 3.06 pounds. Just to give you some context and a little bit of contrast, the MacBook Pro 13-inch from Apple, which actually has a smaller display, it actually weighs very similar to the Swift X at 3 pounds. And for thickness, the Swift X does lose out a little bit to the MacBook MacBook Pro 13, as it does have a little more than an extra two millimeters of thickness. However, the Swift X has ports, like real ports. For me, that's more than enough to justify a little bit more thickness for your bag. But more on those ports in a minute. Let's touch on the centerpiece of all laptops, of course, the display. The Swift X has a 14 inch display, and it is a full HD display, meaning that it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080, and a standard 16:9 aspect ratio. The screen has 300 nits of brightness and provides a 100% sRGB color gamut. And it's not the brightest screen at 300 nits. As for example, a lot of Apple's laptops have a total of 500 nits of brightness. 300 is more than enough for indoor settings and for a lot of users, they might not even notice the difference. And Acer has ensured to maximize its display by reducing the bezel around the display, which gives a total of 85.7% screen to body ratio, making sure that when you open up that laptop, you see more display than metal around the edges. Moving on to the internals, specs, and the configurations, I have to make a big disclaimer here. Acer has not exactly made it clear what the configurations are gonna be, so I'm just gonna stick to the maximum specifications that you're gonna be able to configure it with. And this naturally will diverge from the starting pricing that Acer loves to claim. But we'll just stick to the high end because it's the best information we have right now. For processor and graphics, the max configuration will allow you to put an AMD Ryzen 7 5800U mobile processor. And as I mentioned earlier, the big plus is there will be an option for discrete graphics, and that will be with an NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti. The 3050 Ti being one of the newest 30 series graphics from NVIDIA, and it's really geared towards that middle of the line user. It's more than capable at 4K video, and it should be able to handle a number of modern games at medium settings. But don't quote me on that. Wait for the real world results. Moving on to memory for RAM, you'll be able to configure this with a maximum of 16 gigabytes of RAM, which again is geared to the middle of the road crowd. 16 gigabytes of RAM today is looking more and more like a standard configuration, not a maximum configuration. A lot of users will be thinking to top out at 32 or 64 gigs. However, I think for the customer that Acer is targeting, the Swift X is going to be perfectly configured. 16 gigabytes of RAM paired with that NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti might just be a sweet spot, specifically when 
when it comes down to cost. And for storage, the laptop will support up to 2 terabytes of solid state storage. Touching on battery life and battery capacity, AMD is known for having some of the more power efficient chips and making use of the Swift X 59 watt hour battery, Acer is claiming up to 17 hours of battery life. Naturally, this is under very specific testing, lab testing, and we naturally need to always be a bit skeptical about all battery claims. The AMD and 350Ti configuration, it's looking more and more that the Swift X will be up for some marathon productivity sessions. One additional thing to note is there will be fast charging technology, making sure that power top ups will be easy to manage. Moving on to my favorite section, ports. The reason this laptop might be a little thicker is it has a full suite of ports. There is one USB type C port, there is two USB type A ports, and most importantly, there is an HDMI port that will allow easy connectivity to external displays. Sadly, due to this being an AMD focused laptop, there is no Thunderbolt 4 support, but that's a minor detail. More concerning for me is that there is a lack of an SD card reader. And adding in an SD card reader or even a micro SD card reader would have been just the perfect addition to the suite of ports. It's just a detail to note. Rounding out a few more specs, there will be Wi-Fi 6 for connectivity. And although there is no infrared camera, meaning there is no Windows Hello face authentication login, there is, however, a fingerprint reader, allowing for security and ease of login when you need to. So even though Acer ditched the Windows Hello, they did provide a fingerprint reader. Acer is very proud of their cooling and thermals. And one innovation with the Swift X to note is that there is an air inlet keyboard, which is designed to allow heat to dissipate and air to flow through the actual keys. I thought this was very interesting to note and just wanted to highlight it. And Acer is saying that it offers around eight to 10% more heat dissipation than a standard keyboard. And I'm not exactly sure how they measured that. However, I thought it was an interesting engineering choice to use are the existing gaps and maximize that design for airflow. Finally, pricing. Acer has only released their starting pricing. Swift X will begin at $899 and will be available first in June in the US. Now that $900 entry level pricing, the configuration has not been made clear. However, in my opinion, I would expect eight gigabytes of RAM and no discrete graphics solution. Expect there to be a lower spec on the AMD processor. And this is normal in the laptop world. Entry level pricing means entry level specs and you always have to pay more to to get the top end configurations. It's still nice to see a $900 entry point, and when the specifications for that $900 pricing are released, I'll make sure to put a note and highlight that in the comment section or the description section below. So do ensure you have a peek if that's what you're looking for. As always, I wanna thank everyone for listening to my thoughts, and I'd love to hear yours. What do you think is the most interesting thing about the Acer Swift X? Is it the new AMD processors, or is it that brand new 350Ti? It could be something else, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, do consider giving it a like. It would be most beneficial to me and most beneficial to the channel. And if you've been enjoying a few of these videos, consider subscribing to the channel. You might just like what's coming up next. As always, thank you from Pragmatic.